Hey, what's up you guys? Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. I've tried to film a no lie like two, almost three times this week and it hasn't worked out. I want this video to be a positive video. My last video that I tried to film yesterday, I kind of explained to you guys like what's been going on in my life. Just all around things that have been bothering me, but I will start from here to all my new subscribers. Hey, I'm Michelle. My channel is basically like this huge video diary that I love to share with the internet. I overshare. I find all my subscribers and friends on the internet to be besties of mine, internet besties. And lately I've been getting a lot of people telling me how I should run my channel, how I talk too much, how I need to do this and do that. I used to give in to people's negative energies and I would comment back to people's negative comments, but I'm gonna say it now once and that is it and I won't say it again. There's a difference between saying, you know, constructive criticism and things to make my channel better and then there's just comments that are just plain old rude as if I don't see the comments as if I don't exist. If you do come to my channel, to my comment section where 90% of the time it's positive and it's fun, you will be blocked. You'll never be able to give me any sort of criticism or have a say in anything. So I just felt the need to come on here and say so because there's just been people who just honestly think that they could. It's like, it's like going to someone's house and telling them how they should run their house. Baby, if you're not paying rent, I don't want to hear it. You say something crappy, you're getting blocked. So, honey, right now, you guys, I am at the beach. I have not been to the beach since I last worked here, which was since I quit my job at the beach when my grandmother passed away and I was going through a whole bunch of things and then I decided to pursue YouTube full time. So obviously I've been having a really, really hard time at home. Things just have not been well and I'm not gonna, t I talked about it in the video that I tried to film, but I just feel like it's better if I don't. But you know, when bad things happen, you learn a lot about yourself and you know you just move on today's video I decided to take myself out on a day and treat myself to go out on a drive I feel like quarantine has also brought me and my family it's been really tough on us you know I'm sure I'm not the only one if you're also going through family struggles in your house I feel you but I decided to do something for myself today and so I decided to come to the boardwalk on the beach even though the beaches aren't open here in Miami I really miss being by the water and just being somewhere different so I drove all the way over here by myself and I'm gonna just walk the boardwalk get a nice workout in maybe that way I'll get this motivation to start working out again you guys know that I'm not a person who likes to work out I've never really done this before I'm also wearing all black which isn't smart because black is the color that the Sun attracts the most and it's actually a really really hot day but I don't have anything else to wear and everything else I feel super fat and uncomfortable in obviously since I've been going through it um this week I have not been on my diet but the last thing that I wanted to do when I was going through my little and things personal in my life. I didn't want to think about a diet, which is okay. It happens. I'm human. I don't see it as a diet anymore. It's just kind of like the way that I eat. So I just wasn't eating as low carb. I was just kind of eating what I can find and what I was just in the mood for. I'm taking things step by step. I'm trying not to be hard on myself. I am just going to take everything day by day and I'm just doing something for myself today, something different, something by myself, and I'm really excited. So I just want to bring you guys along with me. I'm going to try to film as much as I can during my walk and I'm I don't know we'll see since I am by the beach there's a whole bunch of restaurants that I love and old places that I used to go to when I used to work here so maybe I'll buy myself some yummy lunch later and just browse around and just walk around and just be far away and just like have this open mentality and just do something for me I've been wanting to do this all through quarantine but I never had the chance to or like I never really took the courage to do it and I finally did I didn't want this intro to be that long but I know I've been a little absent this week I went from uploading three videos to now probably uploading only one but I've just been going through you guys for personal reasons but I'm okay and you guys know that we always come out being stronger so welcome to today's vlog I am taking myself out on a date today and I'm gonna treat myself and we're gonna call today a self-care type day so
Oh my god, you guys. I have walked over three miles already, and I'm not thinking about the three miles that I gotta walk back, but it's okay, because we're doing it, and I feel really, really good, so, yay! o'clock i feel so amazing and so accomplished if this didn't bring up my serotonin levels then i don't know what can so i completed six miles i walked from 29th street all the way to south point park which is past nikki beach like you can't go any further than that and back i almost wanted to call a lyft or an uber because it was so hot and i was wearing all black but i did it and i listened to music and i really manifested like what i want and just got like such a clear mind and I just want to see everything more in a positive light and I feel like I really needed this and it was really nice just to like spend a day by myself. I did get a uh, boba tea because I was so thirsty. I really wanted a smoothie but I couldn't find anything and I just really wanted something refreshing and I got a kiwi green tea with strawberry and lychee like little jelly things or whatever. I wanted to do keto until I went to Orlando next week but by the time that I get into ketosis I'm gonna cheat I guess on like my diet because when I'm in Orlando like I'm gonna eat good and drink so it kind of defeats the purpose so I think I'm just gonna watch what I'm eating and just kind of like count my calories make sure I don't go over still try to stay in like my 1200 calories and just not really be too focused on like keto kind of keep it as low carb as I can but today I am focusing on kind of like a self-love day like a treat yourself type of day like I took myself out on a date on something that I've always wanted to do for so long and I feel I love my own company I love being by myself and so I got myself a treat I got myself a boba tea and it was absolutely delicious and refreshing and I mean it's six mi six miles that I walked I'll be fine and I think I'm gonna just end the day with my favorite food with sushi I feel like it's really important to treat yourself and to just do something that's gonna make you feel good so I'm so happy that I went ahead and I did this so yeah if you guys are going through a hard time I feel you and just try to do things like this where eat your favorite foods enjoy your own company and just relax and like just do something calm whether it's just walk outside or sit outside and get Get some fresh air. It's time to go home. And then we're gonna eat some sushi. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so happy. Right, yeah. I'm never really satisfied. Yeah. Looking up a paradise. Yeah. Without you by my side. Imagine I walk through your doorway. Imagine skipping all the foreplay. Imagine all the stars in one place. Alrighty guys, so I just took a shower and that was probably one of the best showers I've ever taken in my life. I'm super sore already and I got maybe like a blister on my foot but nothing too crazy. I know I'm gonna wake up tomorrow super, super sore. I just ordered my sushi. I'm so excited for my sushi. It's been the perfect day, the perfect self-care day. So now I'm just gonna do a mask to kind of calm down my skin. It's feeling a little dry. So I'm using this Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Bright and Radiant Whipped Mask. It's so awesome. I actually got it at Target. I didn't know that Target now carries Bliss. And it feels super refreshing on the skin and it honestly leaves it so soft and it feels so good So I'm just gonna put this on and wait for my sushi. Yay you guys my sushi is here So we have a spicy tuna roll and a regular California roll. I wanted to Try to keep it not as high calorie. So I didn't get anything with a uh, crunch or tempura or cream cheese just pretty basic um and the spicy tuna it's spicy tuna and cucumber and a california roll is just crab and avocado and i think cucumber and yeah i'm not gonna have the eel sauce just because eel sauce is like full of sugar but i am gonna have some wasabi and ginger i'm so excited about this you guys you guys know that sushi is my favorite food even though my favorite sushi rolls are with crunch and tempura and cream cheese you know balance you love to see it all right you guys and that's about it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed tagging along my day today it was pretty calm pretty chill i am stuffed i feel so satisfied i feel so much better it's been a pretty rough week for me but now i feel myself going back to normal if you guys like this video and like videos like this make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for more videos and yeah i'm just gonna end my night watching Watching some grays and editing this video and making sure I can get it up for you guys as soon as possible. Also, make sure to follow me on all my social medias. I'm on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Always remember, especially times like right now, always remember to be kind to one another. Stay strong. I love you guys so much, and I will see you on my next one. Mm -hmm.